Disneyland 4 just got approved, so what does that mean? What comes next? Let's talk about it right here on Theme Park Wizard. Last night, the city of Anaheim, um, Anaheim City Council, gave the final approval, the secondary final approval, for Disneyland Ford. That is it. They are, uh, it's fully approved now. It takes effect on June 7th, 30 days after uh, last night's approval. No more city council meetings or meetings or public comment. It's all done and it passed unanimously 7-0. So now the big question is what's next? What will start first? What uh, new lands will come? What's happening? Will they expand the current parks in the footprint or the, will they really go to the symbol lot? Let's talk about what could be coming and what I think is coming first. First, and I think literally in June, they will probably start the Eastern Gateway Parking Garage. The Eastern Ga Gateway Parking Garage was, again, proposed in 2017 and got canceled because the businesses fought back. Well, they have a solution now. They're gonna, Disney's going to do the same thing. I should make it even larger. It's about 19,000 spaces and have up to three pedestrian bridges. And each pedestrian bridge that they build will have access to the ground, the sidewalk, for the businesses. So a guest can access the businesses along Harbor Boulevard. The security bubble will be pushed from, from the parking garage to the bridge itself just after the Harbor Boulevard access, because that was the main problem before. But that way they can get the security out of the espionade and put it on the bridge still and have all this filter, filter through security for moving toward the uh, espionade because that area could be then opened up for expansion. Pixar Palace took about a year and a half to two years to build. So assuming they start this June, literally June 7th or this month for the Eastern Gateway Parking Garage, they can have this up and running by late 2025, early 2026 in my opinion, if they were, really work fast. I expect Magic Way and Clementine Streets to be closed. Those are the two of the streets they bought for private, uh, or they bought from the city. So I expect them to close that when they do the site prep and work for the garage and have that all taken care of and really get this thing going. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see permits filed beforehand so they can get them approved and get them ready to go by June 7th. I just mentioned theme park expansion in the current espionage security area for Harbor Boulevard. Well, yes, Hollywood Land and that area up north. Remember, part of the Eastern Gateway plan was to expand Hollywood Land to that area with what would be Avengers Campus or a variation of a Marvel Land. Of course, that didn't happen because of the fight and the businesses. So Marvel Land is currently where it is now, or Avengers Campus is where it is now by a bug clan. But this provides the opportunity for another mass in the land. Uh, and when you combine that Hollywood land plus the, that bus plaza and security area, it totals around 14 acres. 14 acres is about the same size as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So imagine the same land as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but hopefully they'd get more than two rides in there because California Adventure needs all the rides it can get. The going rumor right now is that Avatar will be going over there, um, that in that potential area. But also, I don't know, because <laughs> that was the rumor, but talk to a couple of sources and I'll go deep dive into my Patreon about this, about an article coming in. So stay tuned or subscribe for that. Patreon.com slash club722. But Disneyland, or after I might actually go in the symbol lot or you know, one of those Disneyland Ford expansion plots and something else may go in Hollywood land. But going with the going rumor, the leading rumor now, um, Avatar will be going into the Hollywood land and our Hollywood backlot and the security area and would be a Shanghai type boat ride system. If Avatar goes there, then it can't start until about 2025 or 2026 when you know, the Eastern Gateway is done. But if Avatar goes somewhere else in the symbol lot, it can start next year or this year and be open by 2027 or 2028 by the LA Olympics. That is very another very important reason um, I'm not sure where it's going to go because, again, Iger keeps mentioning it and he seems to really want to get it going. So instead of waiting a couple of years, they could potentially build them concurrently. Again, Avatar would have to go in a different spot than Hollywood Land and a nice than the symbol lot, which actually is a bigger spot anyway. Hold on. But another thing is the Adventures E ticket. Do they want to also build that concurrently too? They can potentially have three things under construction the Eastern Gateway parking garage, the Adventures E ticket and the Avatar expansion if they really wanted to and have it all open up between 2026 and 2028. I personally don't think that's going to happen though. I think they're going to really focus on the Eastern Gateway Parking Garage and Avatar at the most 
and then most likely even just one at a time because that seems to be the way Disney's been rolling lately, but we'll have to go wait and see. D23 should be fantastic this year with potential uh, Avatar plan. I'll see more on the Avatar stuff, but potential actual Disneyland Ford expansion plans, at um, least teased um, for the coming years. Um, Tomorrowland revamp potentially. Again, I'll be having all that in my Patreon. I'm doing a week starting tomorrow, a week of um, exclusives, uh, some rumors that I've heard. So um, stay tuned to the Patreon for that, the Magician tier. Now, lots of good stuff coming to the Disneyland Resort in the next decade. Now that Disneyland Ford is finally approved. But yeah, most importantly, what's happening first, cannot wait for this parking garage because they sorely needs it 19,000 extra spaces for the Disneyland Resort because there's going to be a lot of investment. So we need a lot of places for those cars to park. And you can also take the train via Metrolink. I'll be doing a video. I did a video on how to take the train between Disneyland and Universal. I'll be doing a video on how to get some LAX to Disneyland Resort via public transit as well so stay tuned for that but now it's over to you guys what do you guys think will be built first as part of disneyland ford the east shooting gateway well again that's pretty likely but what it, what's after that avatar avengers e-ticket downtown disney expansion disney springs a new hotel let me know in the comments below and let, let me know what you guys think of the disneyland ford final approval uh, how excited are you that it's finally approved how long do you think it will take for some of this stuff to get built and yeah when do you think that some of this stuff will be opening when do you think the avengers e-tickets come let me know all that in the comments below i'll be covering this story all throughout the next several years of course i have my believe key pass to be at disneyland more often now doing construction updates as almost as often as I am at Universal. I try to go uh, at least every other week. So subscribe and follow for that. Also check out my socials down below. See, uh, I post stuff I don't make in the videos here and like on the ground Twitter, Twitter post that's too small for a video, but that's still a pretty good story. So check out my Twitter, especially because I'm posting on there. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 for exclusives and rumors and news and permits. And also go ahead and become a member here if you want to help the channel i uh, can trip becoming a youtube member here and getting construction updates and member only live streams all that stuff early access super exciting days ahead for the Dis disneyland resort and all southern california theme parks in general especially universal as well so stay tuned for all that subscribe for more updates and have a magical day